Okay, I want to ditch the headphones. Um, I can't hear myself, but I like myself better like this. <laughs> so anyway, hi everyone. Um, you know, these days I'm going through this phase of um, who am I? What is the purpose of my life? What do I want to do with my life? You know, like seriously evaluating my purpose. Get an existential crisis. Um, <clears throat> like, um, you know, I've had quite a journey with all the things that I've done in my life. Um, I went to dental school, so I'm a dentist by profession. <clears throat> and I did that for a while. Uh, meanwhile, I started my own little business, uh, inspire me and before that even before that I started my blog while I was in dental school um, and then I started happy chair beach I did YouTube and you know saath saath mein dental school chal raha tha stuff and I've done a lot like you know here and there um, and you know at one point I've just worked at home and just worked on my business and done ghar ki sari cheezes. So, you know, I've had, like, my journey. Um, and now, like, I'm at this point where I just am reevaluating <clears throat> and looking at my past and uh, what I'm doing and what I want to do, like, you know, continuing from this point forward. Um, you know, and, you know, it's not a very nice place to be in because just it really makes you think and it makes you emotional and it makes you reflect and but alhamdulillah I'm the kind of person who doesn't regret stuff I'm able to sort of see why everything I've done or what I've learned from it and why it was good for me so I don't really regret things that I did and don't feel like doing and I think the reason for that is that I I understand that when we set out to do something in life and we get really excited about it and then we visualize a future and a vision um, and we think that maybe, you know, this is it and maybe we're meant to do this for the rest of our lives and like we found it, you know. But then sometimes we realize that um, we could be doing more or we could be, doing, we could be doing better or this is not it, you know. And I feel like when you realize that, like, it's not, it's not something that you should think of as a regret. Ke, oh, then why did I spend my time doing this? Because everything that we're doing right now and everything that we do is, is like a step, you know, towards doing something that we're meant to do in the future that we don't know now, but we will know, you know. And so we're, we're just sort of taking those steps and all those steps are necessary so there's one thing that like I keep saying like you know just trust the process everything is a process you to get where you need to be or where you have to be you have to go through a certain process and I guess all of this is like part of that process right so if this has happened if something happens it means that you are one step closer to where you are supposed to be and you've just gone through one major part of that process. It's like a chapter in a book, you know. So, so yeah, like when things are not working out or when you feel like, you know, I need to end this, I need to close this chapter and you just sort of move on. Um, you, you don't, you shouldn't regret it. It's not like you wasted your time. Like you've definitely learned something. Even if it's like not, even if it does not seem to have aligned with your future goals, there are skills you have learned. There are things you have learned. There are experiences you've experienced that will somehow benefit you to achieve that bigger purpose. Um, I think the most important thing to, to do is to just sort of believe that you have that bigger purpose to achieve and that you'll get there slowly you know um and it's it's a journey is what I want to say um you know when um I did my dentistry and I I did it up until 2019 December 
and then early 2020 i did not want to work where i was working and i wanted to sort of switch and like change um and then before i could do that um the pandemic hit and then obviously nobody was hiring new people because already the clinics were closed down um emergency basis pe chal rahe nobody was going to hire new source resource they have to pay when their all clinics are already not running you know and someone asked me once ke like don't you feel like you know you wasted your money or your time because it's not what i'm doing right now and i just this is this how i think or feel i mean does not everybody doesn't have to think like that i just feel like nothing no experience is ever wasted so i may not be doing dentistry right now but maybe i will at some day some point so you know i'm not going to say like i never say never so who knows it's not wasted yet but even if i never do it again um it's a skill i learned that i have and in the time that i did practice it i know that i did help a lot of people so i wasn't wasting my time you know and i did um help uh, and i did sort of because you don't like you don't have to look at it from such a selfish aspect even though there's another aspect to it as well but you don't have to look at look at it from such a selfish aspect you know i was there i did help a lot of people i help relieve the pain of a lot of patients um i know that i was a very very good doctor and like my dealing with my patients was really good and like everything i did i did contribute to this world you know it's not like i wasn't productive um during the time that i did and i know that every minute that i gave i was not lazy um i really put my heart into it so even if it didn't last forever i knew that i did make every second of um that time count and i just believe that whatever you do you should like do it genuinely with heart and if you can't do it then you should leave it because then you are wasting time you know so it's like if you've gotten a degree in something and you continue to do it simply because you've gotten a degree in it but you're not doing it with heart and you're not interested and you you're not really um bringing a change with it then might as well change and switch the degree and do something that you can put your whole heart into that can help you achieve your full potential that you are truly interested in because then you are doing justice to the uh, to other humans um to the world because you're productively adding something into it you know uh when not like ek degree leke ek aisi cheez mein kaam karna jisme you don't even want to do it and you're probably procrastinating or delaying or uh, not giving it your 100% like i just don't believe in doing things without giving them your 100% like might as well you know take a step back and think about what you want to do with the full 100%. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Like if I'm not able to give my 100%, I'm just sort of retreating, looking and thinking of reevaluating um what is it that I can do and want to do that I want to give my 100% because I don't like doing half-assed stuff, you know. This is how I feel. And um and yeah, that so that's one aspect. And the other aspect is that beyond the degree beyond the skill that i learned or have or beyond the patients that i treated um there is more to everything the college experience that i had the people that i met the hostel experience that i had the things i learned the 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 independence you know the relationships i made all of that makes me who i am today so that time is not wasted in any way at all you know so there was a learning there was experience and it all just added to my growth as a person that i may not have had anywhere and anywhere else and i know that that's why i went through what i went through and and all of that like i see now in my life uh, whether i am practicing dentistry or not but what i learned or experienced in that time um it's it's it has a role today 
you know and the things that i've learned it's uh, uh, everything that has made me who I am ha- is everything that has made me who I am today and I see it and I know that if I had not uh, gone to that school or if I had not done certain things I would have not been you know um, where I am today it's like you learn things beyond the skill you maybe because of you know being in a dental school or dealing with patients or seeing how the environment is you develop a new sense of empathy you know and so many other things so i just feel like it's a very like when you think about it as just a degree and then following that degree or pursuing that thing that's a very small or tiny lens um to look at things with you know because there is a bigger picture and there is a wider lens, you know, that you can look through at the same thing. Um, and when you look at, through it, look, look at it through a wider lens, you understand that everything has so many layers to it. It's not just, it's not as simple. It's not as um, black and white. And it's much more, it's actually deeper than what, um, you think and it's just it's it's not so surface level you know so so no regrets at any point um, I don't think I have I regret any of it or what I'm doing today or any of my experiences um, so yeah I'm at this point in life where I'm making these major decisions and um, I was having this discussion with uh, the people on my team yesterday as well you know, you things change over time and you realize and you reevaluate what you're meant to do and your purpose. That's one thing. Um, but I also feel like you don't just have one purpose. Like throughout your life, you are fulfilling several little purposes. Um, and again, it's all part of a bigger purpose, maybe that you are going towards it's all like building blocks every skill that you get every experience that you have like because I'm really that sort of person who believes that everything happens for a reason because that has happened in my life so many times that I I even if I fail to see that reason I know that somewhere down the line I just have that like trust and that faith that there is definitely um a reason you know even if I may never see it I know that it was there and at some point in my life um, whatever happened has has affected my future life in a way that was very necessary that was required a lot of the times your dream job um, things that you feel like, oh my God, are so perfect for you. Or you look at it from this is what I want to do. And then when you when you like end up there sometimes, it's you realize that it's, it's underwhelming. It's not what you wanted to do. And a lot of the times the reason for that is that the lack of self-awareness that we generally have, um, which is very common, um, but also... A process but I just feel like we generally need to focus on understanding ourselves better because when we know who we are then we'll know what we want to do so every time I feel lost like I I do right now or I'm reevaluating the first thing that I need to do is figure myself out like who am I what are my strengths and weaknesses what interests me what makes me happy what makes me unhappy you know what is it that I um, what is it that I like in others that I want in myself? Um, what is it that I actually want to achieve and the sort of change I want to bring into the world? You know, what resonates with me? What doesn't resonate with me? What conversations interest me? What conversations don't interest me? What sort of movies do I like? What sort of songs do I like? What do I like doing with my time? You know, do I have any hobbies? Um, stuff like that. And When you like answer these questions, which you almost never ask yourself, but if you ask yourself these questions and then you find the answers to this, then you have a more clear vision of what you want to do with your life right now, you know, because if you're not self-aware, you may end up doing things that does not resonate with you, with who you are as a person at all. And you can't seem to understand why you are so unhappy, 
you know when you are so far when when your actions or what you're doing in this world is so detached or so far from what from who you are obviously you're not going to be happy you know no matter how much money you're making that's why they say money can't buy happiness you know what truly buys you buys you happiness is is feeling yourself like feeling who you are like being yourself um and and doing things genuinely and with heart and it keeps you happy because you you feel whole you feel complete you feel satisfied otherwise no matter what you are doing or how much money you are making or how glamorous it appears to the world or even to you if it's not bringing that satisfaction of being whole of being complete it's it's never going to make you happy and you will always feel a lack of contentment in your life you know that's that's how i feel and i also feel that if you are doing something that you truly don't care about you know um then you are then you will never achieve your highest potential like it's i feel like it's impossible to achieve your potential in a in a space or in a position that you don't you're not interested in but when you're doing something super passionately even no matter how small it is um you achieve your highest potential like a lot of the times jo like hamari society ka ek masla bhi hai that we sort of put pressure um on people to do things that are more glamorous a lot of the times a lot of people love to teach you know and they would want to teach kids or they would want to teach um bigger kids <laughs> or they want to teach adults in university or whatever uh but teaching is something that like is something that they love doing from like internally they are they are teachers you know under se um and that's it makes makes them feel complete but we don't see teachers as we don't see teaching as a very glamorous job or very successful person like if matlab aap kisi ko dekhte ho aur aap kehte ho you know especially if it's a if it's a man or a male teacher then uh, you consider themselves you consider them very like acha shayad kuch aur job nahi mile isliye but you know they could truly be passionate about the subject that they're teaching or just teaching in general you know because i know i've been a teacher once yeah i've done a lot <laughs> and it's a very 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 rewarding thing and it does make you feel very con- very whole very satisfied because you you know that you are creating a change in people and you can see it so it could be very satisfying for them but hum logon ka jo metric of success hai wo jab tak ek um certain cheezon mein nahi hota like a very sexy corporate job or very successful business or um some um a big doctor or a big engineer whatever position and i don't know something fancy we just feel like um this isn't good enough but i just feel like beyond these labels and beyond these um sexy jobs that we see it's more about the purpose that people are fulfilling that makes them feel complete you know and what is it that they feel um happy doing that contributes into this world that helps them spend their time productively uh and keeps them happy and because of this whole thing a lot of the times people end up doing things that are so far from uh what they really want to do that is so far from who they are as a person like i know so many people who have just been pressured into becoming doctors or dentists because they have like doctor families you know and uh, so their parents or family expects them to just be doctors or um and it's just it's just like it's not fair to those people who have to like live their lives based on what satisfies the people around them or the society rather than what really makes them whole or what resonates with who they are and 
it's such a vicious cycle like once you get in there you are so far from being self aware and then you go in deep down into this into this spiral of not knowing who you are because day in and day out you are doing something that does not feel you you know and the more time you spend doing something that does not feel like you the more distant you start becoming with yourself but heavy or philosophical okay but like you get what i'm trying to say maybe i don't know i feel like i'm rambling um so for me always the idea of self awareness has been very very important and the most interesting thing about self awareness is that you will never be just one person so you will have a journey and that journey will take things from you and give you things and it will be a process of growth and in that process you are going to change as a person and when you change what you want to do will also change and that's fine so it's okay to sit back to retreat to think to reevaluate and then and then do things that will that are productive and that help change the world you know so i feel like it's too early for young people to decide <laughs> what they want to do with their life for the rest of their life you know you think what do you want to do with your life or what do you want to be when you grow up i mean should they already know i think the question should be what do you want to do with your life right now i think that's a better question to ask you know because you will always make decisions based on who you are right now and where you are in life right now and that can drastically change sometimes it can't change at all because the less you experience the less you're going to change but if you're going to experience a lot then you're going to change a lot you know when you go through things you change a lot um when bad times come you change a lot um and it could really change the decisions that you make or the things you want to do with your life you know so so we as people need to be more accepting of the fact that people change what they want to do with their lives change and they may do things that does not resonate with you but resonates with them and that's fine and if they were doing something at some point in your life and they completely decided not to do that that's okay too not everything it does not mean that they failed or it does not mean that um they made the wrong decision they just made a decision at one point in their life and now they need to make another decision at this point in their life so i think we need to normalize people restarting their lives we need to normalize people um changing we need to normalize people doing what they really feel like and take that pressure off of other people and honestly we'll all be taking off that pressure from ourselves because everybody feels it it's not like jo pressure dal rahe hain wo khud hi nahi feel karte ki society unse bhi kuch expect karti hai you know um so yeah it's okay chill <laughs> let people do what they want to do and you do what you want to do and wow this talk has become something else or always does <laughs> so um it's just it's um it's something that's so close to my heart because i just do what i feel like doing you know and i go with the flow and if i don't know what i feel like doing that's like very alarming for me like right now where i'm like okay this means that i've considerably changed as a person and that's why i don't know what i feel like doing so i really need to touch base with myself get in touch with myself and figure out because i do feel like um the strengths or weaknesses that i had before are not the strengths and weaknesses that i have now my strengths have changed a lot and so have my weaknesses in fact things that were my strengths before are now my weaknesses because there were things i could do before i cannot do them anymore you know i ha- i was not a um i was a very disciplined sort of person but that's not who i am right now so me constantly trying to live a disciplined life at the moment is a bad idea so i'm i need to i need to know yes okay i am a bit chaotic now and 
and i'm wasting my time trying to be a disciplined person when i should in fact be figuring out that if right now i'm a little bit chaotic i can forgive myself for being a little bit chaotic and figure out how to live my life best in a bit of chaos so circumstances are not ideal but now i need to figure out i need to accept yes be self aware of the fact that hamna now you are a chaotic person <laughs> you are not disciplined anymore so figure out how to live your life best through this chaos and once you're once you're at a more um at a position where you can sort of be disciplined then i can focus on the discipline you know uh because my struggle to constantly be disciplined is just taking away from living my life when i could be focused on understanding the new me and forgetting about who i was before and un- like the chaos discipline is just an example there are lots of things understanding who i am who i am now more and living my life like that you know thing is i was very attached to the person i was before <laughs> and i really liked myself um so so it's okay that i'm not that person anymore and i need to be a bit forgiving because i you know i just became a mom and i could give myself some leeway <laughs> and some some relaxation to not be so perfect to not be that ideal person that you know i thought i was before and go with the flow and give myself some time and then maybe i can work on the rest but to have better control over my life i need to um accept who i am i learn how to live best in that i get better control over my life and when i get a better control over, over my life um that's when i can then work on being a uh, a better version or working on those weaknesses the point is what i'm trying to say is that things change you circumstances change you you need to understand what your new strengths and weaknesses are and before focusing on the weaknesses that you have now that were maybe not there before sometimes you know the balance is really tipped off where you have more weaknesses than strengths and that's okay that happens sometimes circumstances are not ideal and that's okay it's important to in those times when your weaknesses are more than your strengths it's important to focus on your strengths make the best of the circumstances that you have by focusing on your strengths not on fixing your weaknesses right because if if these are your strengths and like these are your weaknesses um you are spending too much time doing bringing this up you know and it's not changing anything it's not changing anybody's life or your life but if you are going to focus on your strengths first you will make a bigger difference and when you are in a space where you have mastered your new strengths and you are in a better um position then work on your weaknesses because working on your weaknesses when you're not in a state of mind to it's a bad idea so this is something that i learned 2 years ago or was it one i think it was one no it was definitely before covid so 2 years ago i learned this thing to focus on your strengths always first and you will know when you are when you are in a position to focus on your weaknesses so yeah i have been dwelling over my weaknesses um for a while and i just feel like i need to cut myself some slack over the weaknesses focus on my strengths and when i focus on my strengths my life will be better and when my life is better uh then i can start focusing on my weaknesses which is extremely important as well so these are my words of wisdom for you today i hope you learned something from from them um uh, i think aaj maine bahut zyada bola hai kafi zyada time ho gaya so i will wrap it up now and i hope that this little talk helps you through something or one day you can think about it ke, oh hamna ne ek dafa ye kaha tha very wise woman she is i would appreciate that so don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel i never say this um 
people keep telling me to say this i should say this so i will say this now subscribe to my channel like my video share it also if you like something about this and also leave down in the comments what you loved about it don't leave down in the comments what you don't love about it because right now <laughs> we are focusing on the strengths anyway i see you guys next time on happy trip thank you so much for watching and i love you guys allah hafiz